Many farmers and traders are familiar with the damage to stored beans as shown here. Where the beans are full of small holes and small dark insects can be seen crawling around. These insects are known as weevils and the damage they cause can be severe and can lead to 40 up to 100% loss if not controlled. But controlling the problem often requires using insecticides. This can be expensive and dangerous for small scale farmers. This video will show the life cycle of common bean weevils on ordinary bean varieties. We focus on this large species and mention how the life cycle of the other common smaller weevil species here is different from this. This video also shows how bean damage is reduced by new resistant bean variety under development at Sokoene University of Agriculture, which stop both these weevil species from reproducing effectively. The larger bean weevil species you see here can attack beans in the field even before harvest as soon as the pods have ripened. The adult weevil of this type fly around in the bean crop where the males and females met. The females then seek out and land on a ripening bean pod in the field and lay their eggs on the bean seeds through a small hole they make in the pod wall. In stores, this type of weevil can also lay its eggs singly directly on the shelled bean seeds. When the eggs hatch, the larva will burrow through the wall of the bean seed and into the nutrient-rich storage tissues of the seed, where they start to eat. The larva keep feeding and growing within the bean seed, benefiting from the stored food there, until finally they turn into a new adult weevils. Once they have reached this stage, the new adults chew holes or windows in the bean wall and escape. Here you see this weevil coming out of the bean. If the new adult of this species emerge from the bean before harvest and shelling, they also escape from the pod through the holes which they make in the pods. Then in the fields, this species of weevil will mate and the female will fly to other pods and will lay more eggs, which hatch into larva that will cause more damage to more beans in the field even before the beans have been harvested. So, when these beans are harvested and taken to the store, they are already infested with various growth stages of this type of weevil, and the attack will keep happening right inside the store, continuing the life cycle of this weevil species. The life cycle of the smaller darker species of weevil you see here is the same as the larger weevil we have seen earlier. This kind of weevil lays its eggs on groups glued directly on the surface of the bean seed after they have been harvested and brought to store. But we have also recently discovered that this kind of weevil also lays its eggs in groups on beans still inside the pods in the field. Due to the speed with which both species of weevil can mature, mate and lay eggs that produce more adults, severe bean damage and quality loss happens quickly, usually within 30 to 40 days after beans have been stored. These weevil species are adapted to hot or cold conditions and rain, so they can tolerate harsh conditions during transport and when traders move beans from one place to another. Therefore, weevil are easily spread to new areas where they infest more beans and cause more damage. As part of the strategies to control weevils in beans, resistant varieties are being developed at Sokoina University of Agriculture. These varieties contain special proteins in the storage tissue of bean seeds. When the eggs of both type of weevil hatch, and the larvae start eating the bean seed, the presence of the special protein 
cause the larva to grow and develop very slowly, or even die while feeding on the bean seed. The result is that fewer larvae become adult, and those that do are small and weak, and they are slow to emerge from the infested seeds. Therefore, fewer weevils survive, and there are far fewer new generations of weevils. So, these bean varieties with special proteins are far less susceptible to weevil attack than the common bean varieties available in the markets. These beans are just as nutritious and good to eat as other varieties of beans, and the special protein that stop weevils are removed during the cooking process. These resistant beans can therefore be stored for longer, for home use, or for sale when the prices are higher. And there is no need to apply insecticides to control weevils, unlike with ordinary beans. So the consumer is not at risk from pesticide residues. We should also remember that solarization and suitable storage method can also help control bean weevils.